Hey y'all, this is Tam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to decorate the outside of my traveler's notebook. This is a traveler's notebook that I made. So it's handmade, it's hand sewn, and I have these available for sale on my Etsy shop. And that is actually linked below in the description of this video. So um, what I'm going to do is, well, what do you see I'm doing right now? I'm distressing... Uh, some of the edges of the things that I chose to decorate the outside of the notebook. And um, I always like that vintage, aged, distressed look. I know some people don't like that, but it's my thing. I, I like it. <laughs> so, ever since I found out what distressed, you know, edges were, what distressed ink um, was and how it makes the pages and ephemera and things like that look i just fell in love with it but again i know it's not everybody's cup of tea so you know that's fine and we're all made different and i appreciate those differences especially in the crafting community where um we all bring something different to the table so we don't want everything to look the same we want everybody to bring their own style to things so um, I'm just distressing the edges of the paper pieces that I chose for the outside of my notebook here and I also got a couple of um, things that I cut from um, a magazine uh, like a um, not a magazine but a, um, what do you call it I got this butterfly image and it's already distressed because there is like a border around the butterfly um, that came out that way so I don't have to distress that but I got these images from a botanical book that I have here at the house this little sunflower I thought it was the cutest thing ever so I'll be using that and this is like a little another little flower I don't know the name of it but um, I'll be using that as well. And my focusing is still not going to act right today. Um, and this little um, quote or saying here, I cut, I cut from a little book that I have here at the house. I got a couple of stickers, um, some little paper pieces from my um, little, uh, what do you call it? that box where you keep all those paper pieces that you cut from different things that you have used to make other projects scraps scraps I got this from my scraps box and I cut some little um, book pages I have some music pages this is just some distressed uh, edge of a distressed book page a little piece of craft paper and this little graceful um, word image here I actually got in some pen pal mail from my friend fam so I'm going to use all of those pieces together to create um, decoration on the outside of my cover now if you want to know more about these travelers notebooks that I sell I did a full flip through of all of the sets that I am selling and let me see here if I can tell you what video that is on my channel and that's why I number my videos because it's easier for me it makes it easier for you guys it it definitely makes it easier for me to tell you where to go <coughs> excuse me I am still trying to get over some kind of cold or infection it's actually it was a bron it was a bronchitis infection um, but I'm all done with the antibiotics and the coughing still remains it's video number 102 video number 102 here on my channel it does like a full flip through of all of the traveler's notebooks that I made and have for sale in my shop so it has papers and all that kind of stuff inside if you want to see the full flip through please go to video 102 so again what I'm trying to do here is just decorate the outside of my covers so that we can get ready to start journaling inside and so I wanted to just kind of start with decorating the outside and then go from there in terms of us actually doing journaling on the inside so I just have my old little glue paper here got just a regular glue stick and I actually think I'm going to tape the outside of the um, the book with some clear tape maybe the outside of it 
so that I could use it for, um, you know, won't have to be worried about, won't have to be worried about any of the outside of the cover getting dirty or marked up and things like that. So I think I'm going to start with this little yellow piece around the border and then I have um, those book pages and music pages and I'm going to kind of create like a little collage. So how are you guys doing? I hope you are doing something crafty or have done something crafty over the last couple of days. You know, just kind of unwinding a little bit and not staying too stressed out with whatever is going on because I know that's easy to do but crafting um, has a way of just relieving stress or if you don't craft maybe you read maybe you sing maybe you write poetry maybe you journal whatever it is that you do to relieve stress I hope it's working and you're not letting you know the trials and tribulation of, tribulations of this life get you down Stay encouraged. Find you an outlet, a non-hazardous outlet. You know, I don't condone anything that um, is going to hurt you or hurt other people. I mean, a non-hazardous outlet just to kind of unwind and give you something to do and get your mind off of your problems. So this is the front, and let me make sure that's right. Got to make sure my, my text is going the right direction, and I'm actually putting this on. Yeah. So this is the front, and this is the back. So I'll be decorating both the front and the back. And then I think I'm going to seal everything. Once I decorate it, I'm going to seal it with some um, packing tape. Just to bind everything in place so so it doesn't have to be perfect even though I'm somewhat of a perfectionist but junk journals have a they have a way of releasing you from that perfectionist mentality because you're hand making these items these items and they're just not going to come out perfect so junk journaling kind of gives me um, a little bit of uh, relief in that department because no matter how hard you try you're not in some factory where you're able to create the same exact image over and over again without flaw you're hand making each one of them individually and you're lucky if you get through one or two of anything in one day so obviously it's not going to come out exactly the same or perfect <clears throat> so that's just something I like to keep in mind for myself so that I won't get caught up in trying to make everything look perfect but I do want it to look pretty perfect and pretty doesn't have to be um, the same right so anyways I hope you guys are having a good day whenever you're watching this video and I hope you're doing something creative something crafty something that's relieving your stress and just allowing you an opportunity to unwind and have a little bit of fun I have this little butterfly here this little I might put that down there how about that I have an idea of where I want things I kind of kind of move them around before I turn the camera on so we won't be here all night <laughs> But um, as you start gluing things down, that has a way of changing. So. And this is kind of hanging off the page a little bit. I'm going to snip it. There you go. I don't want no overhang. I want it to all kind of align with the edge um, of the cover. And I have this little sunflower. That's what I think I'm going to put on the outside of the front. And on the back, I'm going to put this little yellow flower here. 
So, and I have this little girl here, and this is just a sticker from my stash. I thought she would be really cute on the front, and I don't know why my camera is not focusing, y'all. It just does not want to cooperate. This is the little girl, and um, she's just a sticker from my stash that I'll be using to put down on the front with this sunflower. So, um, trying to think if I have anything to share. Can't really think of anything, y'all. Um, what, 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 anything, anything. What are y'all watching on, um, Netflix? Are y'all Netflix, wa Netflix watchers? <laughs> yeah, we don't pay for cable in my house. We stopped that a long time ago. Maybe three years ago now? Um, we were paying, like, almost $200 for cable, and we hardly ever watched it. I mean, literally, we were, we were hardly ever on cable. So what my husband did, we went out and got, like, those antennas to use for the smart TVs where we could get our local channels, the news, and stuff like that. And then we just, we watch Netflix when we want to watch a movie or something, and that's been working out fine for the last few years. So, um... Is there anybody else out there that's a Netflix watcher? Most of the stuff I watch on Netflix is um, like crime shows. Like um, I watch Forensic Files, which is actually a true um, show about different cases that have been solved with forensics. Um, I watch like CSI, NCIS, Law and Order, Criminal Minds, um, what else? Uh, Blue Bloods. Just stuff like that. I like like crime shows. And so that's what I do most of the time. That's what I watch. So what do y'all watch? Leave a comment down below and let me let me know what you watch on TV. On regular TV, which I don't watch a whole lot of. Um, and that's just local news and stuff like that. So every now and then I watch like a local news show see what's going on but we know it's all bad and I really try not to ruin my day by knowing that the person across the street was murdered you know by their brother stuff like that I just I don't find pleasure in stuff like that so um most of the time I don't watch local news <laughs> local tv every now and then I'll see like Steve Harvey with um Family Feud and I'll watch that or, um, like some old show, uh, TV Land, something like that. Every now and then I'll see something like that, and I'll watch it. But I try not to depress myself with crime and murder in my uh, neighborhood. <laughs> Because we know it exists, obviously, but um, it's just so much of it, you're bombarded, and it's unsolved. So you'll run yourself crazy thinking, is the man next door the killer they're looking for? Um, you know, because I heard a story, I was telling my husband about it, where was I? I was in the nail shop. Yeah, I was in the nail shop, which obviously did not work out because, oh, I'll tell y'all about the nail shop in a minute, but um, the the news was on in the nail shop, and it was this guy who was, um, he had, he was, they, they got a 911 call about a domestic uh, dispute, and come to find out when the police got there, they knocked on the door, he opened fire, he shot a police officer, and his girlfriend was in the house, and come to find out, he shot the girlfriend, he injured the police officer, and he was missing. He was like on the loose, on the run. You know, they didn't know where he was. I don't know if they found him or not, but that was several weeks ago when I heard that story. And it was close, it was close to where we live here. And I told my husband, I was like, some crazy guy killed his girlfriend and shot a police officer, and he's now on the loose. 
And so, stuff like that, I just, you know, I prefer not to know. Prefer not to know. I got to just trust and believe that God has me covered and protected. And I got to make sure I keep my eyes open when he's trying to show me something. If I need to move the opposite direction instead of this way, you know, I believe that the spirit leads and guides us and directs us. We just have to be aware, awake, you know, and alert. You know, so when you get a sense that I'm not going in that store today or I'm not stopping by that restaurant today, you better take heed. You know, God, are you trying to protect me from something? That's the way I look at it. When I have a strong inclination about something, I listen to it. And I'm like, I'm not going there. I'm not doing that today. And I just have to trust and believe that God is protecting me from things that I don't even know about. So, anyways, all that to say, that's why I don't watch the local news. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Take some water. the nail shop y'all so this is what my nails currently look like and I now have glue and all that kind of stuff on my fingers but this is what they look like now and any of you that have been watching my channel for any length of time you know my nails are usually they grow pretty long and I keep them painted because that's what my husband likes but um I thought I found this new nail shop I've been going to now for a couple of months and they've been doing a good job. Well, the girl that usually does my nails, she hasn't been there the last two times. So, I usually get my, my feet and my hands done at the same time. So, um, um, time before last, uh, a man did them. A, a, a older, you know, man um, that they usually have in some of these nail shops. It's almost like they probably own it. And everybody else pretty much works for them. But um, he came from the back. I guess they were short-staffed and they didn't want me waiting for him. So they just pretty much asked him to come up to the front and asked if he would do if he would do my um, nails. So he came up front. He asked me what I wanted. And I told him and that's just kind of how that went. And so... Um, I could tell that things were not going to go well because when he started doing them, I was like, okay, that's a little bit too much filing and too much drilling. And it's like, they're my own. And so it's like, these aren't acrylic fake type nails. And I'm thinking to myself, you got to be careful and make sure that with the natural nail, you're not doing the same thing you're doing with the artificial one. And so usually I'm pretty good about relaying anything that I feel that they're doing that's kind of off and I'll say okay that's a little bit too hard that's a little bit too much no I don't want you to shape them or anything like that and they're usually pretty you know uh, receptive you know they have to be obviously these are your hands and they can't you know just do what they want but at the end of the day I still felt like he just did a lot of extra right so but anyway they were fine. I left out, you know, I was like, okay, whatever. I wasn't 100% happy with them, but I wasn't like, you know, I want my money back type situation either. So, um, yeah, that's my son. He interrupted me. I don't know where he going. He had a big old bag in his hand. I had to make sure he wasn't taking nothing out of the house. He shouldn't be taking. Y'all know how it is when you have older kids. Anyway, the guy was doing my um, my hands, and I wasn't, like, totally upset with them or nothing. And this is just washi tape I'm putting on, on here, y'all, just to make it a little bit. Um, but I don't know if I like that, though. Let me see if I can take that off without ruining something. Um, anyway, it wasn't anything to write home about, and it definitely wasn't what I was used to. But, you know... When you go in, you get them done, you try to learn a lesson behind it, and you know what to ask for going forward based on the experience that you had the last time. So that's just pretty much how that was. And so I just kind of left it like that. And so that was the time before last. This last time, I was like, 
um, thinking that the lady that serviced me the very first time I was in there, she was the one that was doing the, um, she was the one that was doing, I think she did just my hands this time. Another lady was doing my pedicure and, um, the lady that had did my, had did my feet for the very first time when I went in there was, was now going to be the one doing my hands. Does that make sense? So she didn't do my feet that time, but she was the one that was going to come over and do my manicure. So I was like, okay, fine. Okay, y'all, that's my son again. Anyway, um, <coughs> anyway, the lady that had did my my pedicure the very first time I was in there was the lady that was getting ready to do my manicure on this particular occasion the last time I went in there okay so anyways I'm figuring because she did such a good job on my pedicure obviously she knows what she's doing with the manicure right am I safe in assuming that is that just me so she comes over and I think she's, I think she's like, you know, you could tell that she has some authority in, in the nail shop as well, because she's kind of the one who, when you walk in the store, she's like, you know, hello, can I help you pick your color? You know, that kind of person. You can tell that she's like, you know, some type of ownership role or manager role. Anyways, um, I'm thinking she knows what she's doing. Um, she did such a good job on my... Uh, pedicure the first time I was in here so obviously she's going to be awesome at doing my manicure but when I tell y'all she started filing and she started drilling and I'm thinking these are natural nails these aren't fake nails you can't just go in you know to somebody's natural nail bed doing all that extra filing so I'm like okay no no filing da 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 this that and whatever and she's like no I make pretty for you I make look pretty for you and I'm like okay but anyway long story short she did a horrible job on my nails the paint wasn't smooth and finished right not according to my standard and um, I could feel that my nails were weakened, like, by all the filing and stuff that she was doing. And I was just not happy with the service I received. But I was like, Lord, I done already been in here, you know, an hour and some change. I'm just ready to keep it moving. So that's what I did. But I could tell over the next several days that my nails were, they weren't what they should have been in terms of strength. Like when I would reach to get something and maybe I hit my nail against it. And I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything else I want to put down on this page, y'all. I could just feel that my nails weren't up to, you know, their usual standard. And so I was trying to figure out what to do. And I could tell some of them had started breaking. Um, even though you couldn't see, you know, the nail was broken in terms of... Um, if you looked at the nail on the outside, you couldn't see anything broken. But if you look at it up close, like, and I know you ladies understand what I'm trying to say. It's on your hand, and you can see things that people from the outside may not be able to see. And I could tell that my nails were breaking, like, on the side. Like, my nails break, like, here, on the side of my... Let me see if I can show you guys. My camera's trying to focus on other things. But my nails break, like, on the side of, 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 like, here. And sometimes it goes into the nail bed, and sometimes it just breaks right here at the corner of my nail. And so I could see that on several different, like, this middle finger had broken, um, this thumb had broken, and something else had broken, but it wasn't in the nail bed. So I was pretty much like... I don't do like long nail, short nail, long nail, short nail. If I break more than two nails, I'm ready to, I'm, well, if I break two nails or more, I just file them all down and I start over. That's, that's how I am. I don't like that long nail, short nail, long nail, short nail. And I really don't like acrylic nails because 
um, they really damage my nails. When I get acrylic nails removed or when I have gotten acrylic nails removed from my hands in the past, it just rips my whole nail off. And so I don't do that anymore either. So when my nails break, I'm just pretty much left with them growing back on their own. And my nails grow pretty quickly, you know. Give them about a month or so, and they'll pretty much be back to where they were. But anyways, that's that was my situation at the nail shop. It was just, you know. And I, that has happened several times where I'll find a good nail technician. <coughs> excuse me. And then I'll go back, and that person is just missing. Because the girl that, that was doing my nails, she took great pride in her work. And she would, you know... She would say, is that okay? You know, is that what you want? And I would be like, yes. You could tell that she wanted to make sure you were satisfied with what she was doing. But a lot of times you get people in the nail shop and they just pretty much, they go to town on your nails and they do what they want. I don't even know why we're talking about nails. This is a crafting channel, but I'm just chit-chatting. And we're all, you know, girls here, so... It's just like we're best friends, and we're just talking about what happened. So, <laughs> we're just talking about what happened. Girl, what happened? Let me tell you. So, anyway, just having fun, y'all. Just having some fun. Relieving some stress. Trying to get the outside of this book decorated to my liking before I seal it up. Because once I seal it up and put that packaging tape on it that's pretty much the end of that I'm, I'm stuck with whatever it is I have on here so I can't say oh I wish I had to put a sticker here or, or put you know some more paper there you're stuck with it oh and I just broke that off like it wasn't a big deal but um anyways that is that so, it's the weekend, um, y'all. What's today? Uh, Friday. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Probably some more crafting. I'm going to try to upload a couple of videos onto both of my channels. Speaking of which, this may be your first time. And you don't know I have a second channel. It's a Bible journaling channel where I journal in my Bible and I talk about my faith. It's linked below in the description of this video. Come on over there and join me if you want. I try to upload a video over there once a week. I've been doing a horrible job. I think I've been uploading a video over there once every two weeks on the regular. But um, with my Bible journaling channel, I have to make sure I have complete silence. I have to make sure the kids aren't roaming around and keeping up noise and things like that. So, um, I think I'm going to put a stamp up here, y'all. So, I got this little stamp container that I keep all my stamps in. And I think I'm going to put a little stamp up there. But, um, on my Bible journaling channel, I try to make sure I have quiet. And I try to make sure that, um, when I upload my videos on that channel, um, I'm really able to concentrate on what I'm doing. The scripture that I'm reading and all that kind of stuff and so with that channel it's not like this one where you know you got folks coming and going and noise in the background and things like that I try to make sure it's just a little bit more peace and quiet when I'm uploading a video on that channel but the thing is I don't get a whole lot of peace and quiet you know I have to really be intentional about making sure um, either my toddler is asleep or all the kids are gone, or it's early in the morning before they wake up, and things like that. So, um, that's that's few and far between, y'all. That doesn't happen um, as often as I would like. And then I have to make sure that what I'm getting ready to journal about or talk about is really something that um, I believe God wants me to share. So... Sometimes that may or may not happen when the time is right in regards to the house is quiet. So sometimes I want to journal and can't because, you know, everybody is up and there's movement and the kids are all over the place. And sometimes, um, 
And sometimes the time is right. Just looking through stamps, y'all. These are some stamps that were gifted to me by one of my pen pals. So I'm going to see if um, I have any cute ones that I could use on this notebook. That's a cute one. It's like a Liberty Bell. Can y'all see that? How's that look? Just trying to fill a couple of spots. I might like that one up there. And I have a second Liberty Bell, so I um, can use that one without feeling guilty. How about we use that one? Since I've just seen a second one. And this is just like a little sticker. I ordered those little botanical stamps, uh, stickers or whatever you want to call them. I believe it was Amazon. I'm going to just stress it a little bit. How about that? And I want to say that's all. This big space right here is almost bothering me, but I feel like... Um, it, it fits like it's not, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like it's not, um, like it's supposed to be there, like it's not random. Like you can see the elements kind of bordering around it and they're all kind of fitting in there the way they're supposed to. Put my little Liberty Bell up there. Can y'all see that? And what else? I think that's it, y'all. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. I, I, I think I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my packing tape and I'm going to seal it. I'm going to seal everything up. I don't want to put like my name or anything like that on it. If I put my name on it, it'll probably be on the inside. Like, do like a little label or something like that. But on the outside, I think I just wanted to decorate it. I don't want to kind of um, put no no name or anything on the outside of it. I feel like, what do I feel? I feel like I want to put like maybe a strip of washi or something down here. Um, I keep like this little botanical washi here on my desk. But at the same time, I'm trying to think. Maybe, hold on, y'all. Let me go get some. Actually, I think I'm going to use this green washi. I'm not going to go on the hunt for any right now. I think I'm going to use this, this green washi. And I got this from a mail order subscription. It's just a big old um, piece of white washi. I think I'm going to put that right there. I think I'm going to I'm going to break it so it's um, do that but it happened right um just kind of put a piece here and I broke it off so it won't be and one thing I noticed about this washi again um it's a company that I ordered it from um it doesn't seem to want to stick the way I want it to I've had to glue it down a little bit how about that? I think I like that. It seems, you know, and I think I want to put a little piece over here. How 
cut that. Now, <clears throat> and so when I close it, this is what it's going to look like. And this is what the back is going to look like. So let's go ahead and put some packing tape down on it. Okay, y'all, this is just some regular um, packing tape on this little clear roll that you can get from your local dollar store. And I'm just going to um, just go over it. I think I'm going to let it hang over the edge just a little bit and wrap it around the inside. to try to get mine as close as I can to the piece that's in front of it because it leaves a line and I don't I don't particularly care for that line see how that washi tape is trying to come up there that's what I'm talking about like it's almost like it's cheap washi tape it doesn't like to stick down And what this packing tape pretty much does, it seals it seals the outside of the cover. So dirt and um, scratches and writing and wear and tear and all that stuff is kind of, it protects it from that. Smoothing out any of the bubbles kind of helps too. So um, this is just a video where you ain't got nothing to do and you're kind of sitting around and you've caught up on everything else you want to watch on YouTube. <laughs> and you're waiting on somebody that you're subscribed to to put out a video. So here am I answering y'all's request. So, you know, it's, it's nothing to write home about. Just a little crafty, let's do something video. So that is that on the outside. And so it's going to be shiny, and that's fine. And so I'm just going to take um, the plastic on to the inside of the cover. And I'm just, you know, smoothing that down. And I'm... Um, gonna do that to both the front and the back, and I'm gonna cut the um, the top and the bottom because I don't need that whole big long that whole big long piece of uh, tape. So I'm gonna um, cut them down a little bit off camera here because I need to hold it up to my face so I can see what I'm doing. Cause y'all know I'm blind. I wear glasses, and when I don't have on glasses, I have on contacts. I can't see. So I'm just cutting, um, I'm just cutting it down. Um, now I need to get it off my hand. I'm working with one hand, holding the book with the other. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to let y'all look at something while I try to get this off my hand. Um, and then I'm going to do the same for this um, bottom part down here. And just fold it over. And 
this piece down here on the bottom where it is kind of in the middle, just need to snip it a little bit there, fold it over. All right, and fold it over here. And did I snip that or did that break? Yeah, I think that broke. That's fine. As long as it's not adhered to a piece of my um, paper. One of these pieces of paper on the inside and I'm going to rip it. So this is what we got, y'all. Isn't it cute? I love it. It's cute. And so this is the front. Got the washi, the little um, quote or saying. And you got my stamp washi up there. The little collage of papers down here at the bottom. And on the back, you got a little collage there. Washi going down there. Washi tape down here. Little girl, flowers, uh, botanical pieces. So it's cute. I like it. And um, it's going to go inside um, my traveler's notebook cover. Um, I've designated this cover as a little cover that I'm going to keep. Um, these traveler's notebooks that I <coughs> excuse me that I made inside of and so um, that's pretty much what you're going to get so I am going to decorate this one if you guys are interested in seeing that please leave a comment down below otherwise I'll just do it off camera and um, next time you see it it'll already be decorated so um, the next video you'll see in regards to these travelers notebooks will actually be doing some journaling inside I might do a couple of pages off camera first so I can kind of break it in and then when I come back to actually do some journaling on camera I'll have an idea as to what style I want to use inside of it so um, but either way it's fine I mean if you guys want to see me do the very first journaling um, in it let me know it, it'll probably be uh, long and boring where I'm really trying to figure out what I want to do inside of it or if you just want me to come back and already have an idea as to what kind of journal this is going to be um, let me know we can do that as well and if you want to see the, the decorating of this little pink one on camera as well otherwise I'll do that off camera so whatever you guys want, I don't mind, um, but I know you guys uh, will probably be open to whatever. You guys are really good, and I appreciate you. So that's pretty much all I have, guys. Um, all of the links and whatever it is that you want to know about me is in the description of this video, as well as the link to my Etsy shop. Please go check it out. See if there's anything over there that you guys would want to see. Also, um, the second channel that, and I want to leave this open in case YouTube clips it and I could use it as the thumbnail for the video, but I don't even have anything to lay it down. So I'm going to have to break it in a little bit because otherwise it's, it's still kind of tight. How about I put this on like this? Yeah, i probably say that girl is crazy. Okay, how about that? You can still see it, but you know. Um, what was I saying? All my links are below, including my Etsy shop. Please go check it out. See if there's anything that you guys might be interested in purchasing over there. Also have the link to my second channel, um, in the description box, as well as my PO box. If you want to drop me a postcard or something in the mail, just to say hello. Everybody loves to receive mail. I am no different. So, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. Also give me a thumbs up so that you can um, tell me that you like the video and leave a comment down below. Just let me know um, if you want to see the decoration of that second journal or if you want to see me break this journal in for the very first time and start journaling in it. Otherwise, the, um, journal will already be journaled in the next time you see it just so I can kind of break it in and know what I'm going to do with it for you guys so that's it thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel as always I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye